Hey to whoever's listening. Um, this feels really weird, but I'm sure all of you feel a little weird these days. Now don't mind me. I'm, I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth yet. I'm just sitting here enjoying this beautiful late summer, early fall day where it's gorgeous. I keep hearing a bunch of helicopters go over and planes and everything else. Um, interesting times, right? I guess I'm putting this out there because it's very clear that nobody really wants to talk about anything but substance. And I, I, I appreciate and support that. I think it's important to put positivity out there as much as possible. But I also think it's important to just reach out, you know, be real. And um, even though we conceptualize this, I think it's important that people know that we're not alone in this. We're all feeling this visceral effect of what's happening in our world. And it is our world. It's not just our country. Um, the thing is, is that the only, what little power we have, we can exercise where we are stationed in this world, right? Uh, where our feet are planted, if you will. So, anyway, this is kind of impromptu. I have to go get ready because I'm supposed to run out. But I just wanted to let people know, um, be kind. And I don't mean be kind where you're agreeing with people or things like that. It's important to be true to yourself and, and true to those around you. And we live in a time right now where everyone is so hyper-reactive because... The information we're receiving from all angles, all angles, is um, over the top information, right? So if you're hearing that someone's gonna die if they do this, or they're gonna die if they don't do this, that makes us very reactive, right? That's, that puts us in a fight or flight type moment because we don't want people to die. At least not everyone. Well, hopefully, I don't, I don't want anyone to die. I could hate you and I still don't want you to die. I mean, that's terrible. I like to think I don't hate either, but, you know, I am human. So, <laughs> needless to say, um, none of us have all the facts. Nobody. You can listen to scientists, and then you can say, well, they support this type of a group, so I don't believe them. Or you can listen to other scientists, and, well, they support that kind of a group, and I don't believe them. I'm not a scientist at the end of the day. Um, right about now, I don't believe anyone, quite truthfully. And like God likes to tell us, be still and know that I am God. Therefore, in the absence of knowing what to do, sometimes we go into that freeze moment where we do nothing. And that's not always right either, is it? Point of the story is I'm not telling anyone to do anything. I haven't quite figured out what the hell I'm doing in life. Um, but what I am telling you is it's okay to connect. So it should be okay to talk about things with people. That's how we used to figure stuff out, right? We used to figure things out because we talked and we heard other people's point of view and we were able to challenge things. It's like cognitive restructuring at its best without even using therapy. <laughs> when we're left too much in our heads, we start believing whatever hype we choose to grab onto. And at the end of the day, I believe there's a lot of truth out there, but I believe there's a lot of lies. And it doesn't matter which direction it's coming from. So I choose not to react because I recognize that the one driving force behind everyone is that they care. And when your value system is caring let it generalize to all of your behaviors. Be a caring person. And don't assume you know everything just because you're hearing information being pushed one way or the other. I try to be Switzerland. I listen to both sides of the fence. And I don't even like to say that because I don't like divisiveness. I think we're all in this together. Yeah, we may be in different boats. That was a very inspirational poem. 
Um, we're in different boats, but we're all in the same storm. And we're all feeling this, this isolation where we can't talk, we can't share. It's bizarre, isn't it? Anywho, my main reason for putting this out there is just to tell you I love you. I do. Even if I don't know you. It's in my heart. It's in who I am. I care about people. I care about the world. I care about it. Here, I'll even share it with you. Here's my... Oh, I can't. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing on this thing. <laughs> I was going to share my favorite tree. Here, maybe I'll do this. Ready? Let's see if you can see it. It is my favorite tree. I'll have to look at this video before I post it because I have no idea what I just showed you. But anyway, I tried to show you my favorite tree. Um, at the end of the day, take care of yourselves, but connect. And if anyone feels that they need to connect, regardless of what your belief system is, I don't care. I don't care if you're so strong and firm in one particular belief system. I'm not going to turn you away. If you need to talk, I'm here. We need to be less judgmental, a little more compassionate, meet people where they're at, not where we think they should be. Because again, at the end of the day, none of us have all the facts. So to sit there and push things because of your belief system. I, I like to call it information, right? Information is not the same thing as facts. Let it inform you. It goes with your emotions and your thoughts too. Just because you think it and feel it doesn't mean it's based in fact. It's based on your perception. It's based on your experience. But that's why experiential knowledge is valuable at times. But so is your gut. So is your instinct. So is your intuition. All right. Anyway. I got to go get ready. I have uh, meetings and I have to get my son. So again, just putting it out there. Nobody's alone. Um, you don't have to be. And I hope this helped on some level. I don't know if it did. Maybe people get mad at me, whatever. You do you. I'm going to do me and I'm going to keep on loving, keep on spreading the love. And, um, have a great day.